I think I found out where all the scout bees were coming from. This is a pear tree and right behind is my beehives and look what's in the top. That's a giant swarm of bees and I'm gonna go get them. I hope. Maybe I won't fall out of the ladder. I'll keep you posted. Okay so uh, there's a swarm up there just to the left and uh, that's the way up. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm supposed to go have dinner with my dad at 5 o'clock or 5 30. It's now about 10 minutes till 4 and I was literally walking out to my car to uh, to head to his house get some spring water and this is what I found. So I guess I can't complain but dang you know I went around this tree about 50 times today. You, you'd think I would have noticed it before now. <laughs> I'll let you know what happens while it's happening. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, there it is. I'm in the top of the tree. And um, I'm a little freaked out right now because the ladder is not as stable as I would like it to be. And I'm not really big on ladders. So I'm going to get up there. What I'm going to try and do is cut the branch that they're on and uh, bring the branch down with me. I know it sounds crazy. Maybe I am crazy, but that's what we're going to do. So, uh, <laughs> barring me falling out of the tree, <laughs> uh, I got the hive ready. I got my loppers ready. I got some cool water ready for the bees to kind of keep them cool. You know, keep them low key. Not, not get me, because they might want to get me. And, uh, yeah. I just got out of the shower and I need to take another one already. My dad's not going to be happy. Okay, so I was not able to reach the swarm while on the ladder. And I couldn't cut it and hold it and come back down the ladder uh, safely, I didn't feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a hive below the swarm and I'm going to cut the branch and uh, the bees are going to walk right into the hive. I know you think I'm crazy. <laughs> and I probably am. <laughs> but I'll show you the setup and uh, I've seen this on YouTube and I know it works. We'll have to see if it works for me. But uh, that's what's going to happen. Let me go ahead and set the camera up and I'm going to let you guys have the bird's eye view of the bees hitting the ground right in front of the trap. And then um, we'll see how it goes and then we'll watch the bees walk straight into the uh, new hive body. Don't you love watching my videos instead of seeing pictures? <laughs> the real Joey comes to life. So hang on, I'm gonna get it all set up. Okay, there's the setup. The bees are gonna land right there. And then they're gonna walk straight in the hive. This hive has got nine drawn frames of comb, which they will love. It's got one frame of honey, which is good because they're gonna want food immediately and uh, it's ready to go. The only thing I don't like about this hive right now is it's got some ants in it, but uh, there's plenty of bees in this swarm that I think that uh, as soon as the bees um, start to go in, um, they are going to kick the, bee, uh, kick the ants out and uh, life will be good. And you can already see there's uh, one scout bee scouting around right now, so that means zero, but uh, we're gonna cut a big swarm of bees out, so just stand by, I gotta get up the ladder not fall out of the tree and cut the branch. Let me uh, make sure that my aim is good. Which I think it is. Okay, here we go. Stand by for some craziness. Okay, here we go. Might be a lot of mad bees down there.
Uh, they're on me a little bit, but not too much. Um, there's a lot of bees. They're on the camera. That's what they're doing. The queen is in there somewhere. They, uh, some of them are starting to make it inside the hive. And you can actually see the march has already begun. And in not too long of a time, uh, all the bees will be inside the hive. This is pretty cool stuff. Okay, look at them now. They're all walking towards the hive. Okay, um, so here we are. Uh, wherever my finger goes, bees are in the hive. It's been, oh, 10 minutes or so. Um, what'd you think? <laughs> this is what I do before I go to dinner. So if anybody ever thinks about, you know, how does Joey get ready for dinner? Well, this is how I do it. <laughs> Only when I'm in West Virginia. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm getting ready to jump in the car to go to this place called uh, Peter Bees here in Petersburg, West Virginia. And um, I happen to be walking by a uh, pear tree. It's called an Ayers Pear. It's really good pears. And uh, I just happened to see this big, and there's another one. Oh my gosh, I just, I found another. I'm gonna have to call my dad. There's another swarm, look at here. I think you can see it. It's right there. This is a crab apple tree. So I'm gonna go and uh, get my pruners and my ladder and I'm gonna do this one. All right, uh, I don't know how well you can see this. I'm looking through my veil, but there's a swarm. It's pretty small. But uh, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna get a five gallon bucket and I'm gonna shake um, the bees into the bucket and get down off the ladder real fast. And I think it's gonna be a lot easier, but uh, it might sound crazier than the last time. <laughs> it's not as much fun, that's for sure. But um, I, uh, I think this one's going to be easier. I'm just going to have a five-gallon bucket. I'll probably put the lid on right fast after they fall in. And I'll go down and I'll pour them into the hive. Now, the whole thing to this is that the important part is the queen. If I get the queen, I'm golden. Okay, well, uh, there's a five-gallon bucket that had a whole bunch of bees in it. And I dumped them into the hive. Uh... They've got food, they got everything, so we'll see how they do. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. It's not always this crazy, but, um, I guess instead of, uh, looking down at the grass and plants growing out of the ground, I need to start looking up in the trees and finding bees. Uh, just for everybody to know, um, I went into wintertime with six really strong hives. The last week of winter, I lost uh, three, and I'd lost two more before that. So I came out of winter with only one hive. The last week, I split my single hive twice because uh, they were just doing really well. And um, so now, with these two swarms that I just caught, if, if I can get them to stay, hopefully, that will mean that I've got five hives and... Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, um, that's what's going on in uh, the bee world. <laughs> in Joey's bee world. But, uh, so, uh, I'm going to look in the trees one more time before I take off my, my stuff. And then I'm going to go back in the house. I'm going to take another shower because I'm now sweating like a dog again. And I might call my dad and tell him I'm going to be five minutes late because i got to go get spring water and stuff. But, um, wow. Wow. How crazy is that? <laughs> a day in the life of me. What can I do? <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed my craziness. <laughs> See you guys. All right. Well, uh, there they are. And they're, uh, I think they're okay. I'm not going to move them tonight. Uh, or right now. I'm going to move them tonight before. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, uh, it looks like they're okay. They're all in the hive. They're a little curious right now. They're kind of doing their orientation flights, getting getting reorganized. 
Uh, I'm not going to move them tonight. I'm going to move them uh, when I, or I'm not going to move them now. I'm going to move them tonight when I get back from dinner. Let them get settled in, and uh, I'll trap them in there uh, over the night. And then tomorrow morning before I leave, I'll take the um, uh, take the, the the barrier out so they can get out, do their thing, get uh, used to where they are. They've got food in there. Uh, they got nine frames of drawn comb. They should be good to go. Uh, I hope that they don't, uh, you know, leave. Sometimes they do. And it looks like uh, part of the other swarm is uh, trying to go back to uh, to where they were. And maybe I didn't get the queen in that one. So maybe I'll have to go up there and um, and cut that branch out too when I get back. Maybe I'll do that when I get back. It'll be nighttime, but I can do it at night. Anyway, uh, I think one just got me on the finger. <laughs> but uh, that's what's going on there and uh, yeah so I guess after I get home I'll go up and I'll cut that um, that branch out and get that taken care of